Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Please be joined by the one, the only Trevor View of Brighton Boys Basketball. How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing good. Um, uh, you know, last few games, uh, you guys have really turned. You guys have really uh, turned it around. I know Friday did not go the way that you wanted, but um, but you know, just uh, the just these last few games, uh, what has it been like to just um, you know, just you know, just get some solid results on the board? been great um we really came together as a team um it, it all started in practices our practices changed complete 180 and our season honestly changed complete 182 so going having a six game winning streak was great for the team the confidence and i really like where we're heading right now yeah of course um this is i believe this is the last week of the regular season mm-hmm. um of course uh, i believe plymouth is coming up um you know later in the week and then of course you know the crossover game and then you guys are uh you know with the district pairings today and you guys got to go get ready to uh to play Heartland for the third time yeah I'm excited um I know we split with them this year but the way that we've been playing and our confidence I'm very confident of going to that game at Heartland what was like the real turning point this this year what was it was it because it's usually there's everyone points to like one thing when you know, everything's really, really bad, and then it gets to really, really good. Um, I think it honestly started in the locker room. We've had a couple of meetings this season just about stuff going on with our team, and it really just us becoming a family and being happy for each other really turned the whole season around. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I got I, we haven't had you on since, uh, you know, you know, for the first time since, um, I think for the first time in, you know, 13, 14 years, uh, mm-hmm. really, I think since 2010, 2011, you beat Howell both times. And I think for the first time since 15, you beat, you know, Howell at their place. What was that like to to, to get a win up there? Because that is a tough place to play. It was awesome. Um, a very gritty win, very hard. Um, we played great, great team win. But, yeah, it was great, especially – not winning in a while kind of made, made a little bit of history. How have you changed this season? Because it's like you've, you know, coming into this year, you had a lot of help, you know, last, you know, last year and all the success that you guys had. Now, you know, coming into this year was just, you know, you were one of the, only, you were the only returning guy. Um, You know, a lot of the guys did not, a lot of guys had a lot of minutes last year, but, you know, you got, you're the only starter that returned from last year. So how did you kind of, you know, flip the switch a little bit? Yeah, at the beginning of the season, it was definitely a big role. Um, Obviously, mentally, I thought that I was going to have a big role, so it played on me a lot. But once the season went on, I realized that our team is, I have confidence in every single player on the court. So I, I personally feel like I don't have to do as much as I thought I would because all of our teammates are playing great this season. Yeah. Um, you know, I know you only have, um, you know, a few games left, but, you know, you know, this is, uh, you know, Brighton hasn't scored a, a district title since 2008. You know, yep. well, of course, you know, I, what would it mean to to get that this year after everything that you guys have gone through? It would mean a lot. I mean, just putting – Putting that up on our banners would be amazing. It'd be amazing for our future teams because I know they put all their hard hard work, blood, sweat, and tears into trying to win that district. And if we could put our names up there, it'd be it'd be something really special. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, really, and then last last two games of the regular season, what do you feel like you guys need to do? Um, you're traveling, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you're traveling to Plymouth, and then mm-hmm. you're. Uh, and then, of course, you're hosting uh, the crossover game. Um, so, what's that gonna? What do you feel like you guys need to do to get ready to, and then to go play Heartland in in a few weeks um, to start off playoffs? Yeah, I think I think we just need to clean out clean up a couple of our plays. Um, we've been playing great, so I think just keep heading in the right direction, and we'll be we'll be fine. All right, Trevor. Thanks so much for the time. As always, we'll talk to you soon, Thank bud. You. Thank you.